Hi fellow makeup fiends, uh, right now I'm going to do a little review on a product that I've received today. Um, I haven't actually used it yet, uh, but it's really nice. It is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils and it's the 15 year anniversary collection. And it's really gorgeous and I hope we're going to get the 15th anniversary collection of the palette, the palette that I've been seeing on some people's videos because uh, the colours look really amazing. But this is what it's like. It comes with the 15 eyeliner pencils and it comes with a sharpener down here. Um, one of them is exclusive to the pack. Uh, it's presented in different packaging and it is a very intense black. It's even more intense than zero. Um, I haven't actually swatched any of these because I haven't actually used it. As you can see, it's still new in the packaging. But it's got some really interesting colours. I'll just read out the names for you. So you've got Uzi, which is a gunmetal grey. Zero, which is black. Rockstar, which is like a plum sort of colour. Um, Asphyxia, which is a purple colour. Well, sort of a purpley magenta colour. Uh, Ransom, which is purple. Binge, which is navy blue. Electric, which is a bright turquoisey blue. Perversion, exclusive to this set. Uh, Mildew, which is an olive green. Stash, which is a warm, dark, chocolatey brown. Baked, which is kind of a, a golden amber colour. Um, what's this one? Midnight Cowboy, which is kind of a hmm, fleshy toned one to me, I think. Kind of a goldy colour. Bourbon, which is a warm chocolate brown. Corrupt, which is another brown. It's kind of in between Bourbon and Stash. And Stray Dog, which is kind of a, a dark sort of brown. Which doesn't have any warmth to it. It's more of a cold brown. It doesn't have like an orangier tone. So that is what the pencils look like. Comes in this really nice box, which has a magnetic clasp on the front to keep it shut. I don't know that I'm going to keep these in here. Um, to be honest, this part that the pencils are actually sat in is just kind of rubbishy sort of plastic really with kind of a velvet effect over the top. So I don't think I'm going to be leaving them in here. But if I don't leave them in here, I am still going to use this box for storage for something because it's just really nice. Um, I might do something quite decorative with it to be honest because it kind of looks like a picture frame. So yeah, I'm, I'll think about that. So that's them. Um, like I say, I don't have, well, these are kind of some of my eyeliners in here and I really got these because uh, they're a good value for money but also because I recently got with my Debenhams points zero and I find these eyeliners to be really soft and smooth and they're really quite pigmented. Oh, it's not the greatest of places to show you that. So that's zero there and it's a really lovely black. It's really soft. It's really easy to smoke it out so you put it on and then you can like, kind of use um, like a little rubber sponge tip applicator. It's like very similar to what you get on the end of these ones from number seven. You can use those just to kind of smoke it out. And I think it really lasts all day and I'm really impressed with the quality of these eyeliners. Um, what I'll do is, I've got zero in here obviously, and then zero in the palette that you've just seen in the video before, which is the Urban Decay Loves New York City one. So I'll probably put the one out of this packaging into the stock drawer without opening it and possibly the one out of the New York City um, pack although I was thinking I may use that um, in my makeup bag in my bag it's just quite handy to have if you go out and then you're going out for the night later on when you're at work you can just put a bit of eyeliner on so I probably will use the smaller ones in my like sort of travel makeup bag if you will and I'm going to put this one in the stock because I've already got this one on the go and I'm going to probably put these in a glass container on uh, my desk so I can get easy access. I think they're really lovely. I really do think that I should experiment more with different colours and I'm quite excited to start having a go with these. So I'll let you know what my thoughts are on these as I start to use them. I really like all of them. The only colours I'm not too sure about are these two here which are kind of the gold amber toned ones. I'm not too sure about those. Um, but then again, when I got the Naked palette, there was a couple of colours in there that I wasn't too sure about. And to be honest, I really love them now. So 
I think that I'm going to love these and the price point is excellent. So that's it for my Urban Decay um, 15th anniversary pencil set. Any questions or comments please leave them below. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Hey sorry I forgot to mention um, that these actually come with a little bit of additional branding. So I don't know if you can see on the side of each one it actually says UD15 which is Urban Decay 15th anniversary. So it's quite nice that as well as providing them in this set for an excellent price, they're also branding them a little bit different so they stand out from the rest. And I think that's quite a nice touch. Okay, so that is definitely it this time. <laughs> Bye. Hi fellow makeup fiends, uh, today we went out with my mum and dad for the day and we went to, <laughs> sorry, we went to the Metal Centre in Gateshead and we got all of my daughter's clothes for senior school, she's just starting senior school in September, so we got everything for her and I picked up a little few things for myself, I didn't go very many places, I got a delivery from ASOS today and I got a few things from that. Um, I got this bandeau bra so this is to go under sheer shirts what I like to do sometimes if I'm going dressed down at night I'll put a sheer shirt and unbutton it to just below the bra point so I thought this would look really nice underneath just with some kind of sequins shown there just as it catches the light so that was really pretty that was in the sale for five pounds so that was a really good bargain and then the other thing that I got is I got this cross. Now I've actually got this in silver and I think I showed it to you recently. It's called a Ditsy Cross. It's, it's um, six pounds on the website and it comes in gold and silver. I don't normally wear a lot of gold but lately I have purchased a few sort of gold chained items just because I liked what was hanging on them and I just thought that this would look really nice with some of those pieces because as you know um, I really love crosses so I'm in a bit of a tangle okay, there we go so this is it it's on a long chain and it's just a beautiful dainty little gold cross and that was six pounds and uh, that was it from ASOS to be honest and then I got a few things I went into Topshop again today uh, I picked up another couple of things I got this for £2.50 it's a lovely chain and it's got this quite unusual cross as you know I really love crosses and there's a lot of them out there at the moment so I'm very happy about that so this is just a really unusual cross and it's got turquoise and coral beads on. It's got this lovely big disco ball bead and a lovely silver cross hanging. And this is actually a nice length. I don't have one particularly this length. A lot of them are long. Kind of hangs just between the boobs. <laughs> so I like that that's a slightly shorter length. So that was Topshop. We went upstairs into Top Man and I picked up a couple of things for a pound. Uh, I got this. It's on like kind of a velvet sort of cord. It's got a little tag but I'm probably going to take that off and it's just got this really big sort of very slim cross, silver cross on it. It's really nice and this one's not too long either so that's quite nice. That was a pound and then another thing that I picked up for a pound is this rosary. It's got some leather sort of here and it's also got kind of a cord and it's got chains so it's quite mixed and matched and it's got some beads but then it's got some turquoise beads and a coin and then it goes down to a simple cross so I really love the colours of that and like I said that was a pound and these had all been £10 in the men's section as had the cross that I got for 2 50 this one actually came as two necklaces but they're actually rather than it be like on one joint chain they're actually separate and I didn't realise that until I got home and I'm really happy about that so this is one part of it, it's a turquoise chain. I'm really liking these coloured chains at the moment, just to add a splash of colour. Um, and I like layering long necklaces. And this has got a really nice lovely coin on it. So that was one part of it. But I actually liked it for the other part. Again, turquoise chain. And it's just got this lovely little silver cross on. 
so I really like that and again that was a pound um, I, my mum got me something while she was getting um, Tony's things she got me a notebook um, if you've watched any of my other videos you'll know that I love to write and I'm a writer and I love notebooks if anybody would like it you can request it but I have a ridiculous amount of notebooks I really love them I love any kind of writing tools and I love drawing so I saw this and I just knew I had to have it it's so pretty so it's kind of a funny sort of finish it's like you know when you go to a charity shop and you find a really old book it's got that kind of finish to it like an old book and it's got this lovely design on it which is coloured pencils and what I really like about it is this thing on the front it's kind of little elastic strips now it's got coloured pencils in at the minute but I'm going to take those out and then I'll be able to put my pens in there because often when I put my notebook in my bag sometimes I've taken the pen out or it's got lost or you know whatever but if I can attach them to the front of the notebook then I'll always have a pen handy so that's really good as a writer because I'm always writing things down and then what I really like about this is it's obviously a nice thick notebook the lines inside are all like multicoloured so yeah you've got like orange and red and I think that's black I'm going to put the glasses on <laughs> and green and blue I just thought that was really really pretty and it's got that lovely new paper smell so I hope you don't think that's weird well, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's me. Um, and then I got two makeup items. I had a Debenhams um, beauty card with £15 worth of points on. So I went in there to have a look and see what there was. Just, you know, kind of thinking, oh, I think I'll just treat myself to something like Urban Decay or Benefit because I like Urban Decay a lot and I like Benefit. And I went in and I got this baked bronzer in the colour Toasted from Urban Decay. It's domed and it's like a mineralised. It's really, really pretty. I don't know if you'll see it there. It's just got a really quite natural finish to it on the skin. I really love it. And it's very much like Hoola, to be honest. This was £20, but because I had £15 worth of points, it only cost me £5, which is a huge bonus. I was going to get, um, well, I was looking at an eye palette, but five of the colours I've already got in other palettes. So if I saw it on sale, I may get it, but it wasn't worth it to be honest today and then in boots I got the new blusher I've never seen these before it's my face cosmetics and this is an R&B rouge blusher for fair skin and it's called Paradiso pink it's quite nice packaging but it's a lot of packaging for not a huge amount inside so, but it's got a nice mirror at the top section and then at the bottom you've got this lovely bright pink blush and it comes with to be honest quite a nice brush but I'm not sure that I'll use that and then the blush itself is this really beautiful pink it's kind of like a flamingo pink that's what it looks like it's really really pretty and that's what it looks like on the skin so as you can see it's quite a neon bright pink so I'm really looking forward to using that so those um oh and I did get Oh, I got this as well which is from Too Faced and it's Papa Don't Peach I've been looking for this for a while it's got a little mirror on the inside and polka dot pattern and then this is the blush it's a really lovely peach but it's got quite a lot of shimmer to it and that is it there I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's got a lot of shimmer to it it's really 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 pretty so I got that one because I'm very into peach sort of blushes at the moment so I guess that's everything for my, my little mini haul of sorts. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Any questions or comments below, any requests for videos, that would be great too. And that's it. See you soon. Bye.